Good morning. Overnight U.S. stock markets declined. The ISM's September survey on manufacturing firms registered at 47.8. It was the worst reading since June 2009. The data also showed that new orders for manufactured goods fell for the second month in a row. Investors are concerned about the risk of U.S. economy slowdown. U.S. stock market fell sharply on Tuesday, of which economy-sensitive sectors such as material, industrial, and financial sectors performed weak. All the three major U.S. stock index fell more than 1% on Tuesday, of which S&P index fell below 50-day moving average. U.S. stock market trend remained weak Short-term downward pressure proceeds. Forward-looking, and as Q3 Hansen Index dropped close to 2,500 points, forward-looking in the fourth quarter, especially in the first half of the quarter, there are more uncertain factors, and the market tends to be fluctuated. There are especially more negative factors in Hong Kong stock market. In addition to the China and U.S. trade war and the democracy and human rights at issue, the U.S. government may restrict U.S. capital flows to China. It will bring pressure to Hong Kong stock market. In addition, the U.S. economy data weakened while the U.S. stock market fell, which does not favor to Hong Kong stock market as well. Hong Kong equities are expected to be under pressure in the short term. Investors should adopt a more cautious attitude. However, we believe that China and the U.S. have incentives to reach partial agreements or phase agreements, which will be the support for the fourth quarter stock market. Since it is expected that U.S.-China relationship might not be too worse, it is expected that Hansen Index will have support at 24000 to 24500 points. Thank you.